Can I just say here's what I think is happening yes, here? I think Kasich please. is playing the smart game. Uh -huh. So he realizes that Mitt Romney is horrible of a candidate as he was. He's still got, uh, what, 46% of the vote or 7%? Mm -hmm. And uh, so he knows he's fighting for that 3 or 5 to 8% in the middle. He's going for those independents. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's like, the Republicans are all going to vote for the Republican, and the Democrats are all going to vote for the Democrats. So I got to get those 5 oh, totally. to 10 in the middle. And that's exact. He's smart. That's smart. That's the first smart thing anyone's done besides Trump in this well, race. This is how he sounded in the first debate, Yeah, by no, the way. he's been doing this right sort of Except through. Except he's going even one. farther now, He though. is, because he's saying, look, I have a 2% chance of winning <laughs> yes. this. But if I win this, yes. I'm giving myself a 54% chance of being elected president. That's right. <laughs> and uh, and that's, of course, why. There's no question. I mean, I, first of all, he's a well-liked governor of Ohio right off the bat. Right off the bat, he, Ohio. He's an incredibly dangerous uh, Republican, too. He's at least going to be vice president. Well, so there's a, a good argument to be made there, although I don't, I don't think these guys are going to pick up to be VP. But the good argument is... Whoever wins, if it's not a Kasich-like guy, is likely to be a radical, like like Cruz, right? Outside the mainstream, outside the establishment, they're going to need an establishment guy as their VP. One line of thinking goes. Uh, Kasich is an establishment guy. He's got a lot of experience. And Ohio, right? So it's a very logical pick. But you can make a similar argument for Marco Rubio. Mm -hmm. Florida, establishment guy, likable, right, yada. Like so, but I don't think... If if uh, Cruz wins, he's not picking Rubio as his running mate. No, <laughs> no. they Under don't no seem to very much Could like you each other. The Cuban Connection. Uh. It's more likely to be a tag team in WWE than it is the the <laughs> ticket. <laughs> it's also interesting they haven't brought up Ted Cruz's trouble with the birtherism, right? So that's also um, that should that should come up because that's a real thing. No, I mean, that's at the time I was saying people are pretending that they're interested in this. This is a big Trump forgot about that in three days. He'll retweet someone. If, if they tweet him about uh, Cruz's chances, he'll retweet it, but he barely even talks about it anymore. Um, what, one thing that I've noticed is we've seen some of the candidates try to change their tactics a little bit. Like Jeb Bush once had a little bit of coffee before debate, and that didn't really work out for him. And uh, Chris Christie was doing that thing about, I'm going to make this about you, not about us. Jeb uh, Bush had coffee and it didn't work out for him? He didn't get energized, no. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I thought that was a real but thing. But Marco Rubio, has he done anything different in the past four or five debates? No, no, he's yelling more now. No, no, I no, feel like I he's think, been no, I think you're totally wrong about that. I mean, I hear you. You're right that everybody has had a different strategy. The only part I disagree with is that Rubio is, I mean, maybe the last three debates, but most especially in this debate, he has done polling where they show it, Trump's anger is working, Cruz's anger is working, you got to get angrier. So he used to be a boy, they look at you as too young and inexperienced, you got to get angry. So every answer is like this, and it's about ISIS, and we have to go get them, right? And I agree with you, every time he does it, he still looks like, what did you say originally, John? Like it's this is every 12-year-old I've ever heard screaming at me on Xbox Live. <laughs> That's funny. I'm going to rape your mom. <laughs> That's what he sounds like, basically. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a horrible world we live in. <laughs>